Weathers Clearing in Homedale. Today I'm going to try and trace the original Makero track. A short bushy sidle from the Harry Todd Reserve has got me to the spur I want and it looks like a faint track here. I won't follow it down the coast road because it looks like private property down there and I don't want to end up in someone's big yard. I'm not the first one to take this route obviously. This looks more substantial. It's slightly off the spur so I won't follow it for long and it might be private property too. This is far closer to what I'm looking for. The little foot trail that's following the crest of the spur. The old crowd the trig is getting well and truly bushed in now. This is put pay to vehicle access. This looks like a pretty authentic remnant of the old Macaro track. This is where we leave the four wheel drive trail. The Macaro track was well established back in the 1860s, so I have no idea how old it is. This section is commonly known as the Macaro track. I'm not sure the bit heading north actually is part of the original route, but the rest is. The sky above, the mud below. I'm starting to run out of time. In the 1860s, surveyor James Climey drew a peak on the Macaro Trek called uh, Mount Fitzroy. Of course, it could be Mount Macaro, but I like to think it's this one, 0.680. I've retraced some steps back to the Yatena, and now I'll take the track marked on the map. It's pretty clear I clipped the steer farm on the way up. You can actually get up the spur without doing that, but the going is a lot more gorsy and scrubby. Thanks Kiwanis, you've done a great job. Back to Hine Road.